Hi guys, Saturday morning, we're about to start our GP Stage 3 Immersion course in Birmingham. Look forward to seeing you guys in about 20 minutes, you can see we're all set, ready for you behind us. What I've got a few minutes, I've got a really quick video about the importance, or actually the power of, not just importance, the power of acknowledging things in a consultation. We talk about the power of acknowledgement a lot in our Immersion CSA courses, GP Stage 3 courses, and our Immersion Plug 2 courses. Why? Because it can boost interpersonal skills, it can boost rapport, it can boost um, the, the feeling that you're listening actively to a patient. Now, we often listen in a consultation, but we don't actively show that we're listening. One of the best ways of doing this is to acknowledge things as they come. Let me give you three quick examples. Someone comes in and they, you're doing an ICE, for example, and they tell you they're worried about cancer. Now, you can't answer that question yes or no at this point. You can't really do much more than just acknowledge that worry. That's a huge thing they just told you from their mind. They may not told anybody else we need to acknowledge that. Gosh, I can see that's a big, big worry to have. And, you know, we're saying talk about that going forward. It looks like it's been troubling you for a while. That acknowledgement of that issue or that ice or that worry is really important to show that I've seen why, I've seen the importance of that in your mind. It's going to go a long way to building rapport. Example number two, someone comes in demanding a CT scan. They're pushing for a CT scan, CT scan, CT scan. One thing that we need to do, we can't give an answer yet early on about yes or no. We don't want to get dragged into an answer, but acknowledge the CT scan request regularly. Mr. Sex, I know that you want a CT scan, and I promise that's the first thing we're gonna come on to very quickly, but for me to, to know what's right, I just need to ask you a few questions. You see, by acknowledging that request, acknowledging the demand, it buys you time to ask more questions. If you don't acknowledge that CT scan, the demand gets more and more and more and more. Third example, someone comes in, they're embarrassed, they're looking down, they're looking, they don't want to be there, they're struggling to talk. We're picking this up, but acknowledge this. Gosh, I can see this is really difficult for you. I can see that it's really tough for you to talk about, and I'm really glad that you've come to talk to us about this. Now, if you don't acknowledge that embarrassment, we may pick it up, we may see the cue, but if we don't acknowledge it, how does the other person know that the doctor's on my wavelength, that they picked up what I'm trying to subconsciously even tell them? Look, acknowledgement is so, so important, and we drill it um, into you on days like this, GP Stage 3 CSA and PLAB 2 courses, but not just on courses for exams, in general, when you're doing role plays, acknowledge everything. It shows that you're listening, it shows you're paying attention, it shows you're with that person and your rapport is going to go through the roof, your interpersonal skills are going to get boosted, you're going to feel better about that consultation and you're going to feel better about your communication skills in general. Acknowledge, acknowledge, acknowledge. Much more like this, like I said, on our immersion CSA courses, PLAB2 courses and stage 3 courses. Have a look at the website auroramedicaleducation.co.uk and book yourself on one if you've got one of these exams coming up very soon. Hope this helps. Hashtag CanPassWillPass. Hashtag I went with Aurora. See you guys soon.